Hello everyone, I am Saurabh Chen from bi-analytics.org and today we will talk about filling series in Excel. There are many ways of generating a series in Excel. So let's look step by step some of the methods which we can apply. If I click on one and enter, it goes into next row. But yes, we need to keep it on one only and we can drag it out. When we will drag, it will copy the data in the selected region. So what happened? It has copied the 111 into all cells. Fine. So this is called copying the series. But see, if I write today's date 1 March 22, and now if I drag it out, it will fill the data with different dates, incremental dates, 1st March, 2nd March, 3rd March, like this. So what we learned ki by de de default, when we copy the number it is copying the series and it is filling the series so right so the difference in copying the series and filling the series we can change the behavior with the help of control sign so if i click on one and now if i click control and drag it out okay what happens when i click control and drag it is filling the series and say if i write date 1 march 22 as soon as i did and if i press control when I did control and drag, it is copying. What we learned ki by default, copy happens in numbers and filling happens in date. But if we use control, the reverse pattern is being shown over here. Fine. So this is where we have filled the patterns. Now there's an automatic filling. Say if you write one and two. Now if you select both and drag, it will fill the series for you. So this is automatic filling. Fine. Say same way we can write Monday and if I drag it will do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday like this. Fine. So this is what we can do. Now this can also be done with the help of this options. If I click on one and drag it, actually it is copied out. So just click on this bottom edge and there is option of fill series. When you click on fill series, the data will change. So this is how you can also do if you don't want to press control you can do it like this also fine okay so same way let's go into formatting one now say this is monday and you want to format it if you click on this it will by default copy the data with the help of formatting it is fill the series with the help of formatting fine now if you want to copy it, the series but you don't want to Keep the formatting. What you can do is click it over here and say fill without formatting. So formatting will not come and say you only want formatting. You click it over here, select and now say fill formatting only. So this way only formatting will be filled in the series. Same way, say this is Monday and you want only weekdays. Just click over here select drag now say fill weekdays so you will say saturday sundays are missing so this is how we can do this also fine so this is way we have done now let's move into series option now same way we have an option of filling with the help of series in this home tab in editing you have an option of series let's see this series option this is series so this is a series dialog box and it's talk about various things like you want to fill in rows or columns first of all let's talk about this thing then you have type linear growth date or autofill fine based on date it will have another options coming up date units now this is trend step value and stop value let's talk one by one each of the things see if i click on i write and now I'm pressing Control Enter. What I'm doing? Control Enter instead of Enter. When I do Control Enter, actually the same cell is selected. Fine. Okay. Now let's open the Series button and try to understand the various options. Series. So say by default it is rows. So I'm keeping in rows. What does rows means? That the data will be filled in the rows. In which means it will be filled in horizontal direction. Let's see. If I say rows, I say starting value is step value is starting is 10 step is the increment value 
So say I want to increment with the help of and I want to say stop value is 30. What will happen? It will start with 10. It will start with value 3 because this is linear. 10 plus 3 is 13. 13 plus 3 is 16. 19. And it will go up to the stop value of 30. Let's see. And it will go into rows. Okay. See. So it is 10, 13, 16, 28. Next will be 31 will be the greater number. So it has taken till 28. Fine. So this is how we have generated a new series. Now let's do it again. So this was linear. Fine. We use the linear option. Now let's go in. Let's write 10. And now this time, I'm going to series. And now I say in the column. So column means it will be in vertical direction. Fine. This is this linear. And now I say in linear, a step value has to be what? One. Okay. And a stop value, say I say. It will start from 10 and will end the data till 50. Click OK. So here comes 10, 11 until the pure data has come. Okay. So this was another thing. Now let's talk about growth in this. See, if I write 1 and now I say series and instead of linear, I will do growth. Now, what does this mean? It means you have to growth means multiplication and say is I say step value is it will increase 1, 2, 2 into 4, 4 into 2, 8, then 8 into 2, 16 like this. So let's see. And stop value is stop value. I can say, say, print. so let's see what happened. Equal. Okay. It's a different row. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 like this. So linear means addition. And growth means multiplication. Fine. Okay. Now let's see another option. Let me write uh, 10. And say if I want 10, 100, 1000, what I will do? I will go into series. Series. Now I say columns. And step value is I want to multiply every time by 10. And stop value is what? I say unit 10, 100, 1000, 10,000. Fine. Now, if I say okay, see this. I want this data like this 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, this has been incremental. Let's do it again for growth. So, what I need to do is 10, I'm going to series option. Series. Now, I have to select growth first, and then incremental has to be with 10. And now I say, Unit 10, 100,000, 10,000. Okay. So 10, 100,000, like this is fine. Because this was into rows. If I have done in column, this will bring in the columns. Fine. And say, you don't want to give end value. Say, you write, okay. you select this entire region like this. This is the direction and this much of the area I want to fill. Click on this series button again. Click on series. Now say growth. And growth has to be what? Say by multiply by 5, it will be 10, 50 like this. Fine, 10, 50, 50. And how many numbers? I'm not giving stop value, I've just selected this area. Okay, so I got 10, 50, 50 like this. So, this is how we can generate the series with the help of this series option. Now, let's talk about trend. Trend is quite interesting thing. Say this is 2021 and this is 2030 year. And I know that I want to have 1000, the starting one and end value, I want 5000. But I want to have an equal incremental, like it should be the difference between the date sales value should be same. The growth should be same. So let's see. So I want to create a trend it's starting from 1000 to 5000, this much of years. I will click on series. And now I want a linear trend. Because every time there will be an incremental, right? Not a percentage. So I click on this and I click on trend. And now as soon as I click on the data, okay. So look, I've got everything incremental. Like it's like if I create a difference is equal to this minus this. Last one. So every value is being increased like this. So equal interval has taken place in the picture. Fine. This is how you can create a trend. Now let's do this again with growth trend. Say I want to have a 
one percentage of growth. Control C. Let's space it out. Control B. Now what I want to do is, I want starting to be thousand. Same. But end value has to be five thousand. And now this time is a percentage growth. I want equal percentage growth to be at every year. And I want to reach to five thousand. So what I can do is I select the entire data. And now I go to series. I click on series. And now I say growth. Fine. And I click on trend. And I click on OK. So look, I got the same growth percent for every year. Now let's decide, divide this and see is equal to this divided by 1000. So come to the three times the 19.5 percent growth. This is common. Got? So this is how we can use trend. So say you want to forecast sales data, you know the start value and you want the end value and what you want is that there is a constant percentage of growth. So this data has come with the help of constant percentage of growth, fine. Now you can use dates also in this series, let's see. Say I write 1st March 21st March 21 Now selecting some area clicked on series now in this series what I am doing I am using is date it is by default already fine that is a date now it is days so if I do days it will give the day by its step value 1 if I say I want to have alternate days date say I want 1st March 3rd March 5th March so I just click on and I click ok and look I got 1st March 3rd March 5th March like this so we can do this now let's take it again what I do is Control E. Control E. Oh, this is the date. I say I want to have a date for every month. Again, select the data. Fine. And I go into series. And I say I want weekdays. So I don't want Monday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to be in the picture. I want only Monday to Friday. And step value is one. Let's see. Or step value because we have selected the area. This will be filled in this area. We don't need stop value. Okay. So look, one, two, three, four, five, and then fifth and sixth is Saturday, Sunday. So stop. Then seventh March. Then ninth March. Then eleventh. Then eleventh. After eleventh, it is fourteen because twelfth and thirteen is again Saturday, Sunday. So you can do like this also. Now let's use it again. Control C. Control V. And say this time what I want is that I want to have dates of every month so I click on this select this let me select the area first I go into series and now I say month and step value is how many months say for every one month I click on ok so look I got 1st March 1st April 1st May June 1st July like this so I can do like this also same way I can do for year also Say if I say 1 March 22 and this time I select series and now I say year. When I say year and I say 1 only. Okay. So look, I have got 1st March 22, 1st March 23, 1st March 22. So this way also you can use series. I would like to know how do you use series in your Excel? What type of series you want to generate? Just add me in the comment. Just write in the comments so I can know more about the options, what type of things you are doing. Okay. Now there's another function has come in Microsoft 365 that is sequence function. Let's talk about that. Sequence function is an interesting function. It will create an array for you. If I write it equals to sequence, it says rows, columns, and for step are optional. By default, column means one column and start well, uh, this start value means starting with one. And step means by one. So see, if I write sequence 10 in close, it will give you 1 to 10 data. Same. Now, if I write again to it is equal to sequence. And now today, in sequence, sorry, in sequence, if I write rows, which is say 10 rows, and I want 10 columns or 10 columns. And starting value is what? I say with and step value is I want increment with 5. So let's see what happens. Enter. Look at 10, 15, 20 like this. 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड नंबर ऑफ रोज सो रोज एंड कॉलर कम टू पिक्चर सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन जो सीक्वेंस फंक्शन ऑल्सो एंड इंटरेस्टिंगली सीक्वेंस फंक्शन कैन बी यू कम्बाइंड विद अदर फंक्शन डेट एंड वी कैन यूज इट इन अ वेरी स्मार्ट वे ऑफ मेकिंग सीरीज बट दैट विल बी कवर्ड इन नेक्स्ट टॉपिक बट दिस वॉज आइडिया दिस वीडियो वॉज टू गिव यू एन आइडिया हाउ कैन यू यूज सीरीज इन एक्सेल होप यू लाइक इट इफ यू लाइक इट कंसिडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माई चैनल एंड आई वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू नो फ्रॉम विच लोकेशन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड यू आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो इफ यू कैन राइट इन द कमेंट दैट विल बी ग्रेट फॉर मी आई वुड लव टू हियर फ्रॉम यू ऑल थैंक यू वेरी मच